What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness with Frost, we're gonna be going over the update with the Fitbit Lux. It didn't come out with its SpO2 sensor or its skin temperature all the way updated, but it just got updated. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you haven't seen my review on the Fitbit Lux, check out that review right up here and you can come right back to it. But this is the overview of what the update did that I talked about during that video. So you get into the app. This has all your metrics as always, yesterday, today, and all that. And the sleep, this is really where we got our biggest increase in just what's going on. So, so when you click on today about how your sleep went, it gives you an idea of how long you were asleep how well your score did, but it has your light, your REM, and your deep sleep. I also have my whoop right up here so you guys can see, but it is fairly accurate with its awake time and stuff like that. It doesn't get me in as uh, much REM sleep as my whoop does, so it might be a need to calibrate a little bit more towards me. It does a great job of it. It also gives me an estimated oxygen uh, variation as well, so this is new with the update and gives you all that as well. So even yesterday, so I haven't been feeling too well. I actually took a sick day. I had to take a little nap as well. So it even took my nap in, it was kind of a sleep. But um, all these things are right in here, giving me what the auction variation is and all that. If it's high or not, it's low for me, so that's great. Getting into that, you can also come down to your health metric. It's gonna give you where your breathing rate was, your heart rate variability, which is great to be able to check how well your body is recovered. The higher your HRV is, typically, the more recovered you are and the harder you'll be able to go in your workouts. So this will be able to go ahead and give you an idea of how well you are recovering. But one of the things that does suck about these health metrics is you can sell premium. You can get 30-day trends of this. Uh, you need to get premium for it. You do get, I believe, six months included premium with the Lux. But if you want anything more than that, you will have to pay for premium. I'm not a big a fan of this, as in I feel that believe these health metrics should be there. You can always write them down yourselves, but it sucks that it doesn't actually save onto the actual thing itself. And also skin temperature it gives you an idea of how your skin temperature went, how it went up and down in Fahrenheit throughout the days, and your resting heart rate all built in and breathing rate. Last thing I saw that got updated fairly well are the exercises. So I got my run in and it was able to map my run, which was great, give you where your heart rate zones were and where your pace is throughout your run and stuff like that, your split times, your heart rate. So this is all great. I did, had a little bit of a problem actually finding the map first time around. I had to go into the settings and make sure a GPS was always available for the Fitbit app. You will have to do that on your Android devices, probably your iOS devices as well. So with Fitbit's newest update on its band, I am a big fan of the Lux. Uh, I actually thought it was relatively expensive at about 150 bucks, where you can actually get the charge for around $99 if you want to check out my charge review right up here but you also get a gps built in with that charge as well but the screen at the monochrome screen not the greatest in the world the charge 5 i have seen some rumors it will have an oled display as the lux does but that's not going to be coming out till next year but for 150 dollars, this is a well built band and it's small you'll be able to wear a watch with it as well on the other side and not look too crazy uh sometimes when i'm doing the re these reviews and i have three things on uh, people ask me a lot of questions, but you won't look that bad with a band and a watch as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button if you haven't yet and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell that lets you know when my newest tech reviews are out. And if you're using the links down below, it's gonna shoot you to Amazon. If you make a purchase through that, a little bit of that purchase will help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, Stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.